Hello and welcome to another episode of Scarring in the Atlas. In today's episode, I am upgrading my stuff. Uh, so we had um, my original ship over there. Uh, I called it Ouchies because when I launched it, I launched it onto the ground and nearly destroyed it. Uh, subsequent to that, I made myself a brigadine. I uh, didn't really like its firepower, and so went ahead and built myself a galleon, both called Ironbeard. Um, now that I've actually uh, had the time to get out there and kill a few things, get a whole bunch of blueprints and sail the map a bit. So if I zoom out a bit you can sort of see that I've um, been traversing quite a number of islands just looking for resources. And so for the most part I've got about four different styles of resources. Now, they're all back over there. Um, what I did was I got a, a nice shipyard, so here we can sort of see that I have a legendary shipyard. Uh, I have loaded it up full of just some generic material that I have, and I want to build another galleon, so we're going to craft one. And so today's episode, I am going to build a new galleon. So now that we've got the, the base structure, we go and have a look at the setup inside. So I've spent many, many trips, and this is why it's probably been a little while since I've done an episode, um, just outfitting my crafting area here. And so, here we basically have a run of uh, storage boxes, of which inside each one of these is all of the resources that I've collected, sort of sorted out. So I basically, this was the saps and salt. Uh, we have coal and oil. Uh, keratin, so yeah, and so on and so forth. It goes through the wood, the fiber, the thatch, the metals, uh, and a whole bunch of other bits and pieces. Uh, that was the better one, which also has the alloy, the hide, uh, crystal, so I've got a uh, crystal and gems, so I've got a bunch of different ones there. So lots and lots of material, um, quite a fair bit of traveling involved, and yeah, I boosted some of the weight uh, multipliers just so I could carry it around because yeah I don't want to spend my entire single player just collecting resources all right so in here I've already got some of my pre-made things uh, I am going to need some planks which are stupidly heavy um, can I still move all right oh, I can not very well but I can move and yeah I have a bit of a plan from what I did when I built the iron bead. Um, when you put the ship planks down, you get the option of choosing whether you want to uh, place it with no planks or whether you want to, nah, sorry, planks. Uh, you want to place it without the, the default, um, it's probably easier if I show you, but there's a default amount of space that it takes up or you can choose to have no space taken up at all and it's just kind of the outline of the plank. Uh, I'm going to, based on the way the game is now, choose to fill out as much as I can with the planks. And the reason behind that is there's less things to repair. Because if you fill out the spaces with your own planks, you've got to go in and repair each individual plank or each individual ceiling piece that you add to the ship. Uh, so. Some of those higher ones would probably have it. Let's get one of these lower ones. So what we can actually see when we go up one, uh, so this one here, uh, down the bottom left you can actually see that it mentions uh, large wood ship deck and you can choose full or empty. So you can press the T key on the PC and you choose empty and you can see that there's no space taken up by the plank anymore. And you can freeform just go through and add your wooden ceilings and place them where you'd like. And I don't want to do that because I want less things to repair because I'm playing single player. I don't have anyone else to help run around the ship while I'm sailing. Uh, where's the bottom snap? Alright, so this is the basis of my ship. 
uh, and I should be able to build some stairs and minimal ceilings. I will probably need to build some, but I don't want to build many at all. Uh, most likely here at the back, if I bother get to go for the rear gun placements again. Oh, and yes, if you've made it this far, uh, make sure if you are enjoying the series, um, you make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps me out. Uh, like these videos if you do enjoy the content. Um, that also helps out. And yeah, comment. I, I like to hear from people about their own experiences. Um, I'm doing little bits of how-tos here and there, so if you have something that you're interested in finding out, I'm willing to go and see how it's done and put something up about it and yeah if people wonder why uh, people ask for people to do these things uh, it's all to do with the youtube algorithms um, liking and commenting uh, basically tell youtube that it's something that is worth watching and without that uh, our videos basically just sink to the bottom and nobody even sees them in the, the recommended channels and so yeah just by hitting that like button it means that the video gets seen that would be awesome. Anyway, I'll keep rambling on while I'm doing this. Uh, we want at least one ramp here. Am I going to be spot on, or am I going to be one short? One, two, three. Oh, you're joking. How did I jag that? I mean... Uh, damn. I've got uh, solid planks left over. I don't have any gun ports. I've got <laughs> the exact number that I wanted. Not sure how I did that. I didn't count. Um, probably could have actually, probably could have counted that one over there, tried to work it out. Ah. Anyway, it is what I want, it is done. Mm, no gun put up there, so three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that doesn't seem right. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, nine. So we got three, three, nine, eleven. Mm hmm. Seventeen, eleven, twenty-eight guns on one side. So, wow. Hmm. 
56 guns, huh? It's gonna weigh like crazy. That's a lot of alloy. Um, I'll do it, because I want this thing to work. Alright, next. Next, 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 next is... Sales. Alright, well I'm going to transport a whole bunch of stuff, uh, and I guess I need to get to 56 cannons, that's going to be the fun part. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on and do that. Uh, cannon. Yes, alright, I definitely need more. What have I got? Uh, what was it again? It was... 6 times 3 is 18, minus the 2 I've got 16 of 56. Oh dear. So I still need 40 cannons. Uh, I can do that with my remaining blueprints. I guess I'll do that. And I'll come back once. It's done. Yeah, and we're ready to outfit the ship. Uh, there's a few things I haven't created, but I thought I'd just build a few of the plain ones. Now, I'm just going to make sure I don't impede my cannons here. I need to build a little crafting section in here. Still get to the crafting box. How's that look? Looks like I can still get around the back of it too. And cannons should be okay there. Cooking pot's already down. Forge. It's going to look weird sticking through the roof. The other one. What am I missing? Uh, a loom. Oh, that should be fine. Right. Some generic resources from destroying things. Just chuck them in. Uh, structures. Mm, well, I need thatch. Surely I should have got some thatch from the things I broke. Okay. Huh? I have to bring over some resources. Uh, I need to basically get the ship stuff. I need the uh, ship resource box, the larder, uh, and a few other bits and pieces still to come. Um, so I'm going to go off and get the. I'll probably just get some resources and fill up the, the smithy. So I'll be back in a sec. Not a cargo rack yet. Resource box one. Uh, ammunition, yes. Mm -hmm. Larder. One. I'll put them down. Now these need to be more central than what I did last time. I put my other ones below deck and it didn't reach everyone and I suspect I'm going to run into the same issue. Uh, there's going to be people everywhere so I have to be a little bit careful about that. The larder seemed to reach really, really far. It was the ship resource box that was a bit of a problem. And ammo box was also an issue. Okay. It's not very central. Mm, pick up ammo box. right here. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to put everything in its place. I'm still missing a few bits and pieces, but that's fine. This is going to encumber me like crazy.
All right, well, as you can see, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. Probably won't take quite as many cannons next time. All right, I've got a little bit of movement now, which is seven cannons. So I'll probably be taking six cannons out at a time. All right, and here we have the final result. Uh, I've still actually got a few people left over on my other ship, but because I had people on the Brigadine and ten people on the back cannons on the previous one, I don't actually need as many people. So cannons are in place, ship sails are manned. Make sure I didn't take someone off their duty down here and do a bit of a quick tour so people can see the craziness that I have done. Alright, apart from a few bits and pieces like ramps, uh, it is... I don't want to fill that one in. Oh, fill all the way. And that one filled in, that one filled in. Okay. Uh, yep, manned, manned, manned. Yep, yep. Looking good down here. These ones are all manned. People still seem to have a little food icon on their head. But you... Uh, you don't have the food icon on your head. Not underneath. Just so cannonballs won't necessarily hit it. Uh, food goes in and people will start eating. Excellent. I think this is enough for now. Um, I definitely need to work on uh, a bit of my presentation and how I'm going to get up and down the ship. But, uh, nope, that's the ship hull itself. Alright, here we go. Alright, spell that nicely. Iron Bead the second. Too many on your vessel, it is sinking. Oh no. How many is 60 ahead of 59? Ah, that's unfortunate. I've got way too many, so. Iron beard. Move to Iron Beard. Okay. Now my ship's probably damaged from me just launching again. Still, it is now in seaworthy shape. Uh, and as I was recommended, you look at the ship's weight, it's 12,682. Open the ship ports, 15,802, okay, so 3,000 weight just in opening the ports. Hmm. So, I need 68 crew, roughly, uh, without the teams on board, uh, 65. So, as I level this one, it is going to be extra crew. Here we go. Let's go and experiment with it. And usually my luck is that as soon as I sail out of my cove, there's always ships of the damned. <laughs> Except for the day you want them. Oh no, here we go. Nice. We're on the right side of the ship. Let's get the ports opened. Cannons are ready to go. Yeah. Wow. I think yellow was actually a reasonable number. Oh no. There are people out of cannon range. That's not good. I have little symbols up the front of my vessel there. They don't have enough 
range on the ammunition container. Actually, how's the back? The back looks good. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Just pound it. Open up the sails. I've got too much activity now. I copped a selling myself. Right, time to move. If this little one comes in range, it's so gone. We've got cannons that aren't firing, so once I get those few front ones in line, that's going to make it fun. Level 48, you are going down. Alright, six crew, nice. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I need to go and check that loot. And then, oh, I don't do nice. Okay. Um, Alright, so that galleon... I might go and kill that galleon. Uh, actually... Let's just have a quick look. What do I need... for another... ammunition... box? I need some wood. Um, should be able to do that. Uh, you? Half of that. I'm going to need to restock because there's going to be a lot of repairs coming up. Chuck a few bits of ammo in there just because it's going to weigh me down. Alright. Let's go get the galleon. Unleash the full fury of one broadside. Did you run away? There you are. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Come on, second volley. Uh oh, missing plank. That's not good. I didn't think that side got hit. Here he comes. Come on, turn more. Let that fire with the ports closed. No, oh, who cares? Open the ports and we'll just unleash on him. All right, 
Now I'm in trouble. Um, well, hang on. Stop. Ship is ever, ever so slowly losing health. Uh, it was. Hang on, that didn't have a. That's just a normal plank. Plank. I need. Oh, way too much. Oh, crap. Um, did I bring any with me? I don't think I did. Hmm. Ah. Of course, the fog kills it all. Which way am I facing? East. That's roughly the right direction. It stopped sinking. Ah, what a mission. Uh, oh, okay, yes. The ship, we can now take 65. Let's just bump that up so that I can accommodate what I wanted, which was 68. Done. Uh, extra beds. Improves crew anchored hull repairing speed. Not too worried about that. Sturdiness reduces sinking rate. Reduces offshore boiling. Yeah, not too worried about that. Uh, I do want the ship to take less damage. And I would think that resistance is where that's at. Or we could just go straight up damage. Hmm. I don't know. I think. I might go into resistance still. It's hard to say. Well, I might leave that to the comments. Um, I won't put any more levels into the ship uh, just for now. And yeah, let me know. What do you do when you level up your ship? Do you level straight into damage? Do you... Oh, follow, follow, follow. Do you level damage? Do you level the sturdiness? What is it that makes your ship a good ship? Floating bear. Yeah, they won't have enough resources to repair. Uh, so I need to go and get myself a bunch of stuff so that the ship can be repaired. To go around and uh, repair a few things myself. All right. Well, mm, that'll do. Okay. Well, mm, there we go. That's better. Uh, it's rather dark and gloomy. Mm. We'll keep getting cross shot. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Better. So, finish the episode in the moonlight. I have my new ship. Uh, not mythic, it's uh, masterwork quality. It um, still took a massive beating. Really. Um, it did take on quite a lot though. Those, that galleon really pumped out the damage. I'm wondering if there was some crossfire, uh, which is what caused the plank on that side to get damaged so badly because I only took one volley on this side and destroyed that plank whereas I took several volleys on this side and I didn't lose any planks so it's a little bit surprising at any rate uh, I have my new ship 
I'm very happy. We're going to uh, level it up some more. Uh, I do think I'm probably going to do sturdiness, but as I say, not sturdiness, res resistance is what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Is it worth just trying to kill them faster, or is it worth relying on the cannon's uh, uh, uniqueness, um, uniqueness, the the quality of the cannon to do the work for you? Because obviously, if I get some mythos, which is what I'm planning on doing next, I'm going to take this lot out. And I'm going to go to the Golden Age Ruins, and I'm going to see if I can get some Mythos. And from there, I can start looking to craft my uh, mythical cannons and mythical ship parts. And yeah, I also need to find more resources, mind you. I've got um, up to five different types in some, but I need to get six. So there's a few little bits and pieces that I need to get to that mythical stuff. But I want to go and kill the creatures anyway, just for fun. So that's what I'm going to do next. But yes, I think this ship needs a few levels just to give it some reliability. At any rate, thanks for watching Scarvig in the Atlas. And yeah, I'll catch you next time when I'm hopefully killing Cyclops. Catch you next time.